Hi, this is Sean Hendrickson here at the Sean Hendrickson Law Firm, where we help good people like you avoid the devastating consequences of criminal charges. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get your gun back if it was confiscated by the police when you were arrested. Before we get to that, we do have a free download for you. It's five things you should be doing right now if you've been arrested. If you go ahead and click down in the notes, there's a link down there. We will send that right out to you. There will be two common scenarios where the cops are confiscating guns uh, during an arrest. One of those is a gun charge. The most common of those is unlawful carry of a weapon, which just means that you have a gun with you while you're committing another crime other than a traffic offense. And so that can be anything from being arrested for DWI and having a gun in your glove compartment, or maybe a drug possession charge, and again, having a gun either on you or in your car or somewhere around there. In those situations, the cops are gonna confiscate your gun and they're gonna charge you with the original offense, so DWI or possession of drugs or whatever the charge may be. And there's gonna be a second charge for unlawful carry of a weapon. The second type of scenario is if you're being charged with a crime and the officer or the state is alleging that you used a gun during the commission of that crime. So that's gonna be something more like aggravated assault, maybe aggravated robbery or even murder, something like that. In either of those situations, then your gun is gonna be taken as evidence and, uh, and you won't be able to get that back while your case is pending. They do actually have a deadline. So if it's been 61 days since the date of your arrest, if you haven't been charged, if they're not prosecuting you, then they actually have to notify you that you can come uh, pick up your gun. If you don't pick it up within a certain period of time, then they're actually gonna move to either destroy it or sell it at a police auction, um, or you can go pick it up during that time period. If your case is prosecuted, if they are charging you with a crime, then ultimately it's gonna depend on what you're being charged with and what the outcome of that case is. If your case is dismissed, no matter what they're charging you with, then you're gonna be able to get your gun back at the end of it. You do need to make sure that your attorney files a motion to get that back, otherwise it may be destroyed anyway. But if you, on a gun charge, even if you're found guilty, if there's a conviction against you, or if you end up on deferred adjudication, you can still uh, ask the court to, to give your gun back to you. And as long as the destruction of the gun is not part of probation, then you should be able to get your gun back. Here in San Antonio, on a charge like unlawful carry, it's actually gonna be pretty common that one of the conditions of probation is gonna be that the gun be destroyed. If that is the situation, if that is the condition of your probation, then you're probably not gonna get that gun back, even if you otherwise would have been able to. The other type of charge where the police are taking your gun is if they're saying that the gun was used in the commission of a crime. Again, that's gonna be something like aggravated assault, aggravated robbery, murder, or something like that. In those types of situations, if you are convicted or if you are placed on deferred adjudication, most likely your gun is gonna be destroyed since it was used in the commission of a crime and you're not gonna be able to get that back. So the takeaway is that if you do want your gun back or if you do expect to get that back, really the best way to go about doing that is, is if your case gets dismissed. If your case doesn't get dismissed, if you take a plea or if, you're ta if you take it to trial and if you're found guilty, then there's a good chance that the state is going to make it part of the plea or that the judge could order as part of the sentence that your gun be destroyed. If you're being charged with a crime here in San Antonio or if you've got some questions about this video, feel free to give me a call. I'd be happy to answer your questions. I'd be happy to discuss your case with you, let you know uh, what you can expect and answer any of those questions. You can use the link down in the notes below uh, and schedule a free consultation with me, or you can give me a call at 210-942-4997. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great day.